cornflakes. Cornflakes! Don't eat too many or you get a stomach upset. I'm about taking it now, boy. Alright, did you see me foot pump anywhere? No. Yeah, well, I left it here this morning, and when I came down, it was gone. I wouldn't know where it was. Why not? Tell me where you put it. Oh, stretch the legs, Carol. That's what you have to do. Why don't you? Stretch the legs, the spell is coming from the hole. There, look. Stretch, one, two, one, two. Right. What's the spell is coming Get out of the way. Carol, you need to lock me off his feet. There's no need to be rude. Where are you going? Christy, won't you be coming with me? Have you you got, with listen, Malik, you would have a pair of trousers, would you the fit? What's wrong? Wear a pair of tights like mine. Up. Oh. And down. down. And deep breaths in. Relax. And up. And back down again. Tip the feet. Isn't that refreshing, Christy? Oh, my God, it feels so fit. Now, you're ready to come out with me on my bike. Fuck that. The only place I'm ready for is my bed. Now, I'm wearing my hat with my tights. How do I look? Like Bruce Lee. <laughs> now, Bob, there he is. How are you? Hi, Bob. I thought about your offer, and I might be selling the pub to you. 500 euro. And, as a good measure, I'll throw in the barbecue. If I was to buy, would I be by Monday morning? Because I'm in a bit of a rush. Well, it would have to be signed today. Well, that's fine by me. Don't worry about it. I'll have okay. the cash up front. You sound like if you have yourself a deal. We're more than happy to sell. Okay. Brilliant. Where's the papers? Bob? Upstairs. Shake on it. Thank you. Carol, will you push Wait me? For me will you? Push me on the bike, Carol. I can't get through. Oh, fuck. Oh, the Lulu Rose had to make me third. Carol, oh, no. I left my foot pump back home and I got a flat puncher oh, in the bike. Fuck. Oh, shit. Christy, will you give me a push? Oh. God, Please. Carol, I'm a bitch after you. I know. I better be off. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hi, Christy. I tell you, all that walk out killed you. Look me Bernardo's jacket like go. I was talking to Bob at the pub this morning. Fuck up! Will you? He told me that you have a 5% uh, share of Macaius. A 5 inch dick? I was thinking maybe I could buy your share <sighs> and then I can move on with the pub. I was worried about his money. I know, I'm worried about my business. No. And I'd like to um, buy your share out. Is that possible? No! You need to buy yourself a new comb. I comb all them aphids out of your hair. Okay, Christy. Because at the end of the day, it's blowing to me eyes when I'm talking to you. Okay, Christy, if you want to play hardball, that's fine by me. But, remember this. You listen to me! The pub will be there when you're gone, okay? And at least I'll have it. Oh, be good. I'm buying the pub. Get it into your thick head. Do it. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, you're off. Seamus! Yes, dear. How are you? Are you alright? Give us a kiss. I'm fine, thanks. Sheila came over this morning. She said the papers wasn't signed. Did I have to go back down to the office. Did she? What time is that at? I'm up since half. Half past eight. I'm up since five o'clock. Would you like to keep me a kiss? Ah, oh, look at you. You're I'd so cute in that top. I'd be careful. I'm there, almost now. tempted to go upstairs with you. Don't grease the toilet. I have another engagement this morning. I have another this morning. I have an awful lot of paperwork to do. Yes. And I have Barry coming over to the office. Yes. He wants me to sign a lease on the house. As long as that's all it is. Of course it is, Seamus. You're my dog now. And that's it. I don't want you going off shagging And nobody's anyone. business. I hope you don't start shagging anyone else. Your fanny's for me. And Duncan in the office. You're not least to find it, right? You told me one time. If I, I like him a lot. That you let me come with you. But you never done it. I did. Where is the net? He's in the office. I told you before, I'll tell you again. Seamus, don't worry. 
I have already under control. Go down to the shop, right? The yeah. Two, two euro shop. Now listen, Freddy. Okay, I'm listening. Go on, listen. give me the kiss. <laughs> Get me a two euro tin of hairspray. Seamus. So What's that smell? Have you been with someone it's else? It's not me, anyway. Have you been with someone else? <laughs> no, someone I haven't. Else? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Are you sure you're not lying to me, Ruff? As no, well? Seamus. I'm just scared that part of the city is in public. That's all. Listen to me for a Otherwise, minute. Otherwise, I'm not afraid of anything. Well, I put an awful lot of work into those. See you later, right? You're a good bastard. Yeah, the papers is all there if you there want to see them. Thank you. Not messing about. Oh, you have a solicitor with me. I hope you do, because you're going to need one. And you, Renee. I know we're doing the right thing. I'll sign here. Bob Murray. Now. And I might throw in an extra 5%, concluding. No, you're grand. We have plenty of money. Shake. I'm Renee. Thanks. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Show, you, show him Let's to the door. Go. Show them to the when door, Bob. I'll follow you out. Christy. Yeah. Listen, me and me Bob is going to be going away for a while. So. I'll ask you something for a minute. Is there any chance you could. What's the story with you? Nothing. Why? Going around kissing me and then riding Torlock. Are you a slow? You want to get your life together? I Bob. haven't done anything, Christy. Bob's a good friend of mine. It's none of your business. Bob is a good friend of mine, Jeremy. Listen, Christy, right. it's none of your business who I met. Who's going to be around next, Ray? There's the door. Know what I mean? You've no standards. I do. I'll tell you now. I want to be bollocks with you. I don't, I don't, I don't at least I still have the spark in me. Oh, come out of it, would you? Look at you. I have a spark. You be jock. Do you like to see I left you because you had no sparks. Just put your We're hands down there and you'll feel something. That's why I left you. Before, loaf. You're wearing a wig, Christy. Even Bella knew, knows about it. This cause me haircut is nice and neat. Now I'm not taking this shit no more. <laughs> Do you hear me? You fucking slutter. I don't know. Tell you now. Get out, you. You hear? I don't like men wearing wigs. You look rubby, man, don't you? Just cause I have a beard. Torlock. You won't ride Bob cause he's no beard. Shave it more. What you doing here? What's wrong? I have to go now. I'm in a rush. Hell, tell Seamus to watch his back. Ah, there's no need for that, Yvonne. Oh, there is. Big time. Why? What has he done? Do you see my hat on my scarf? Do you know how I got these off? Tight arse. I did. She sold me the two for five euros. And that's what I said to her. Really? Yes. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Yes, Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> oh, Ned. Hell yeah. How's it going? I bad at you! I didn't know you were out of rehab. Well, I was looking for a place to sleep and I found no place. Well, I'm glad you came home. I just hope that... Still off for tonight, are you? I just hope everything... Well, you know, everything is not only between me and you. I wouldn't, yeah. like, I wouldn't like to think that, it you know, is. anything oh, came no. between us when you were in That's rehab. Well, are you still off for tonight? I think about cooking a bit of haddock tonight. You still off for tonight? Maybe you can call over to my house. Bit of candles, bit of sparks, bit of sex. The works. I'll see you tonight. I don't know about that, Barry. Don't think about it. I have to be somewhere Just come else. over and I'll lay it back out on your back. And fuck you. I have to be somewhere else. I'll time. fuck you until me cum is coming out your neck, into your hair. Then go to me. Ah. <sighs> no, Renette. Listen to me for a minute. I put my blood and go into them buildings. I'm sick of you, Seamus. Shamus, listen. <laughs> this is going too far. You listen here. Too far. Listen here to me. Why should I, Seamus? Yes. Tonight is the night that you're going to be coming over to me. And you can tell that Barry fella to fuck off, alright? Have a message. Seamus. That's him now. Do you get this? No. I'm not getting it. Now listen here very carefully. I am Do you sick. you know that Yvonne is down my neck? I bumped into one out on the street. Suit. No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't think for one minute that I'm a thick man. I've walked for you many years. I bumped into Yvonne. You're not listening. And I'm fucked She's trying to get her hand on your money. Girl. She told me. Oh well, who isn't? A man like me with a toy like this? Any woman would be in the bed for me. And you'd mark my words. Why don't you wear underpants? Why don't you wear white fronts instead of underpants? They're horrible. They're a torn off in bed. Well off, you know. 
I'm a big cock. Do you? Yeah. Well, I didn't see you. You want to start showing them more often? That's because your one's cock was in your ear. That's not true. No way. Are you sure about that, Lynette? Lynette? 